Hi, welcome to another video. In this assignment, we're going to complete numbers.py and then we're going to test it using test numbers.py. So both of these are blank at the moment. So I'm just going to go to our assignment page here. I'm going to copy the boilerplate code and paste it in here. So our functions are nearly done. This is complete and we just need to finish validate and it's um, taking the IP address here from the user. I'm going to validate here as a proper IP4 address and then we're going to give it either true or false. And then we're going to test it here. So there are a number of ways of doing this. I'm just going to use a pure regex. I've seen uh, others use for loops and um, extracting and checking it outside, but I'm just going to do a regex check. So I'm just going to check that it's formatted as per an IP address and that is within the range 0 to 255. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do if re.search and I'm going to paste in my regex. I'll explain that in a minute. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to do a raw string and I'm going to do for the commas as per the assignment of the lecture. So I'm going to explain this here. This is all to do with one octet. So an octet, so in networking, you have IP addresses in the range from 0, that's 0, that's 0, that's 0. These are IP4 addresses. So this is a valid IP address. It's a default gateway for a router, from what I remember, or for your computer in networking parlance. So then that goes up to 255.255.255.255. Which, as I recall, is a broadcast address. So each of these is an octet, so we have four octets, one octet, two octets, three octets, and four. It's called an octet because it's eight bits. So for instance here, this regex is concerned with one octet. So for example, this. Now we duplicate that across then for each subsequent octet. So this is concerned with one particular octet. Just remember that. So what is this about? Well, for instance, as I said, each IP address goes from 0 .0 .0 .0, 0 0.0.0.0 up to 255. But this octet could be 0, 0. Or additionally, it could be triple zero. So we have to take that into account when we're searching it. So that's where this comes on here. So each of this is like that's a zero. So that corresponds to one zero here. We're, we're just looking at this octet now. I'm just going to colour it blue. So we're concerned with one octet. So our one octet could be zero. The question mark here, remember, from our assignment or from our course means optional. So it's one zero. And if that's the case, then this is disregarded, this part here. But optionally, it could be two zeros, which is zero and zero. In that case, we're going to make that two zeros. So that means that one is, the last one is disregarded. Optionally though, another question mark, it could be three zeros. So that means here that this zero is utilized, this zero, zero is utilized, and optionally this zero is utilized. So that's what the question mark means. So, our IP address here is 127.0.0.1. Remember, we're just concentrating on one octet, the first octet. So, if that was a 127, so then we walk from here. So, our zeros are complete now. We're not using zeros anymore. It's our fresh because it's 127. So, this is 1. So, we make it 1. Colour that blue. So that's one. Now it's two. So we have nine, so from zero to nine. So in this case, that is going to be two. Down here, we're going to have two. And now it's seven. So here again, it's zero to nine. I'm not talking about this zero now, I'm talking about this is zero to nine. So that is now going to be a seven for this scenario. 
and that's where our 7 comes into it. Okay, so we have, in the 0 category, we have either 0, we have a 0, 0, which is 0, 0, or we have triple 0, which is 0, 0, and 0. And for our 1, 2, 7 up here, we disregard this, we have a 1, we have uh, between 0 and 9 here, which in this case is 2, and then we have 0, 9, which in this case is a 7. Okay, that is where that comes from. Put the 9 back because it is between 0 and 9. So, imagine a scenario now where it's changed again. Now it's not 1, 2, 7, it's 2, 4, 9. Is that right, Beatrice? So then this is regarded because. This, you know, I've had read this vertical bar here means R. So that means take that away, forget about it. And now we're using this side of the equation here, or this side of the regex. So we have 2 all the way up from 200 to 249. So 2, 0, 0 to 200, or 2, 4, and between 1 and 9 is 249. So 2, Four nine, so that's where we get two four nine from. Lastly, say is our two five five, which is up here. Two five five. Now, this disregarded and this is disregarded because we have, we have an R here again. Just cut that out. Of it. So we're working with this part of the regex. So it's two. 5. So it could be 250, it could be 251, it could be 252, all the way up to 5. So it only goes as far as 5. So 255 five is the highest we're going to get. It could also be 243, etc., depending on the IP address. So that is where I'm coming from with this regex. All this will cover. Numbers from 0, 0, 0, or triple 0, from 1 to 19, and from 19 to 199. All of this will cover 200 to 249, and this will cover 250 to 255. So that means optionally, so either optionally here, and then this is R. So if it's this, then it's not this, and it's not this. If it's this, then it's not this, and it's not this. So that's where we got a range is from 0, optionally 0, 0, optionally triple 0, to 1, to optionally 19, to optionally 199. And then a range is 200 to 249, or 250 to 255. So hopefully that made sense. So with that being the case, I'm going to bring this back down again. With that being the case, we can duplicate this. I'll put this into brackets just in case. Now I'm going to copy all this. And I'm going to paste. I'm just going to make the space when I paste so you can see. So that's the first octet. So that is our, in this case, 255. Now this is the second octet. Remember there's a dot between it, so our dot is here. But I'm going to escape the dot. Okay, so I'm escaping that dot. So now we have two octets. We have one octet, which is this, with a dot here, and the second octet. I'm going to say that that's maybe 150. Now we do that again, I'm going to copy the, the dot escaped and the octet. I'm going to paste it in. So now we have three octets. And that could be 10. And last, I'm going to do it for a fourth octet. And that could be dot 200. Now I need to put in a dollar sign here. And not to forget, up the front, I've put a carrot in. 
So that's to emphasize that search from the beginning of the string and finish sorting at the end of the string. And now I have to add in our IP address. So that's our IP address here that we're bringing in. So this is the pattern we're searching. And this is the string we're searching in. Also, I need to make sure that it's formatted properly with a tab because it's um, an if statement. Put in the colons here. Granted, it does look a bit complicated here, but don't forget that this is one octet. This is our second octet. This is our third octet. And that's our fourth octet. So it's basically the same thing, and this is our dot in the middle. Uh, ideally, I would like to, you know, have them down here, where it make more sense visually. But that's not going to work for me because it's uh, it won't let me put on multi on multi lines. And even though it does look complicated, remember there's two things: it checks the formatting to make sure that it's a valid IP address, that there's four octets, and that there's um, numbers between one number and three numbers. And it also checks the range from 0 to 255, so it does everything in one foul swoop. That meant we have to give a return value. So if that is the case, and if everything matches here, then we're going to return true. Else, we're going to return false. So that is our program done. So the last thing now we need to do is just test it. So I'm going to go from num import validate. So what I'm doing is from this file here, I'm going to import this function validate. So I'm going to define a test function. I'm going to test IP format. And I'm going to assert that given the function validate and the parameter on a raw string parameter 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 that if it gets that in its parameter then it's going to return true. I'm going to test it pi test test in new mb3 is that pi and we have passed. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to copy this paste, paste, and paste. So I'm going to say that if we add here an extra zero, so we're testing the format here, so an extra zero that's five octets instead of it for them, I'm going to say false. And if we were to have three octets, or if we were to have two octets, or even if we were to have one octet, then that all would be false. I'm going to clear. And I am going to run it again. And we've passed. So that's our format done. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to define a new test. Test IP. I'm going to say range. So I'm going to assert and validate given a raw string and given 255.0.0.100 is going to equal true. Clear and run and we have green. So that's within the range. Now I'm going to do that again, but this time I'm going to say that it's outside the range. So I'm going to go here, one thousand. I'm going to go false and try running it, and we're true. We've passed it. So what's that saying? Is that that's bigger than two five five? So I'll try that um, a few more times here. So here I'm going to say 256. 
and I'm going to leave that at maybe 10. And here I'm going to say 255.512.1. And that all should be false. I'm going to clear. I'm going to run it again. And we've passed all tests. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to go down here and we need to get our check. So I copy this. Clear here. And I'm going to test it. Okay, so we got our results back. And we have all greens. So that means that this is correct that this regex works and our tests work so thank you for joining me in this video and hopefully i will see you in another one soon